Welcome today. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kathy Fillion. And I'm Steve Yachanza. Welcome back, everybody. And today on Making with Mod Podge, we have six different light plates to show you. We've got some really fun makeovers. We're gonna use a couple different Mod Podge products. We've got Mega Glitter, Ultra, Gloss, Fabric, and... Oh, you did say Ultra. I was gonna say, and Ultra, no! but sure, you said it. <laughs> And we've got some fun different types of papers and things that we're going to use. We're yeah. going to be using uh, napkins to create this really cool kind of blue china look. This is really trending right now for spring and that is done with a napkin. We've got this uh, watercolor flower one that's just done with a piece of scrapbook paper and we have these really cool kind of poppy turquoise one just done with um, fabric. And this one over here we're going to put gems using um, our Gloss Mod Podge. This one here is a couple layers of Mega Glitter I Silver, love that one. which is amazing. And we went to the hardware store to do this one. It's Mega Glitter, it's tissue paper, and it's some washers. So fun, so fun. And that Ultra, we're gonna show you how to do those 3D embellishments. And yeah. It's kind of shocking Super that strong. with just a little spray of it and how much it holds those yeah, embellishments. It, it, things do not move when you use the Ultra. Yeah. So before we get started, we want to remind you to please use the hashtags Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge in any of your Mod Podge projects so we can see what you're doing. Yes. And hopefully Plaid can feature you on Fan Friday. And uh, please like and share this video. These are really fun projects for anyone who wants to spruce up a little pop in the room. Yeah, it really goes from kid Oh, to, yeah. to girls, to boys, to women, to men. We're going to show room. you it all. Yeah, yes. any room. So we're going to start with the napkin decoupage. And this was a three-ply napkin. Just a regular napkin. This is more the, I think they call it fingertip size. So a regular napkin. And I went ahead and separated the plies. And the plies are, you see that white part of the napkin? So that is apply and all you want is the printed ply so this is just one ply of the napkin and that's very very important for this project we're going to use the gloss mod podge formula that is our just traditional formula and we're just going to do this right onto a light switch plate and this is what our plate is going to look like when it's finished so pretty it's got such a fun look. You can see that's the back side there. You don't need to worry about being perfect on the back because that's gonna be against the wall. Super simple to do. If you're doing um, like in a bathroom or something, you, you can do the same technique on baskets or, um, well, any room really, uh, just to create that coordinated look. Really fun to make light switch plates like this. I started doing these in college. <laughs> yeah, they have been around forever, but I think we're bumping it up a level today, don't you? <laughs> yes. So I'm getting all the edges and the sides. Not all of these projects are we gonna do the sides, but on this napkin one, we wanna get all the sides really good. And this is just a thin coat of the Mod Podge because the napkin is a very thin material. We don't wanna have too much saturation. So there's that. Now what I'd like to do is just gently pick it up Try not to get rid of that Mod Podge on the edges there. And then I'm going to place my one ply napkin right over the center. I should have probably trimmed this down a little bit, but that's okay, we'll trim it at the end. And then working from the center out, just gently press down to try to smooth out any of those wrinkles. And you wanna go around the edges, go down the sides, just like that. And then we will trim off our excess. I probably should have trimmed this down before we got started. I think you're doing just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and spin it. Trim that. And just smooth that. Make sure we've got it all the way down and around. Now before I top coat, I want to flip it over and go ahead and seal these edges to the back. You can really see I'm doing this real real time. So this is really how fast yeah. you can create this project. So just add a little bit of your Mod Podge there and then just let your brush do the work for you. Bring that around, bring those corners in. Let's see, get that corner nice and tight like that. Just kind of fold it over. With the napkins, you have a lot more flexibility than you do with the papers. We're gonna show you the paper a little bit later, just using scrapbook paper. 
You can use wrapping paper, you can use magazine cutouts, any kind of your favorite paper. I've even done these with um, vintage children's books that were in not good condition, mm. <laughs> ready for a little bit of a love makeover. So you can really use all different kinds of things, any kind of paper you want. Go ahead and get those corners down. And that's how fast that goes together. Let's flip it over. Now at this point, um, I would normally let this dry a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and poke that there. Look at that. That's our center. We just with the napkin, go in. Now we'll flip it over one more time and get all those pieces to the inside. Look at that, how simple is that? Yep. <laughs> you know what I love about this also? Again, napkins. They come in so many different oh, yeah. varieties and colors and styles and all that. And this is a way that you can use napkins to make something look beautiful. So I, I do want to say one thing about napkins because mm. you're you're right. And in the Mod Podge, uh, Getting Crafty with Mod Podge group on Facebook, people are always like, where do you get napkins? Where do you get all these pretty napkins? So for the record, some people in the, the Getting Crafty with Mod Podge group trade napkins oh, with each other. Right. And they're in trade groups. Some people recommend eBay and Etsy, and a lot of people go to Tuesday morning. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're looking for these napkins, we got a yeah. Tuesday morning. So if you're looking for good napkins, and I'm, it's a joke, like I'm constantly on the hunt. I buy napkins all year round for decoupage projects. And uh, when we find them, I'll buy like two or three. I spend them all over the place in random places. Yes, so, well, even, you know. even my grocery store had some cute ones this yeah. winter. So okay. there you go, just give it a top coat. So there it is. Once it's dry, you'll poke through your holes with a toothpick just to loosen that up for your screw to go through. And you're just gonna let that dry. And when it's dry, it'll look just like that. Beautiful. So cool, such a quick transformation. Yeah. And this was only a 79 cent light switch plate. I mean, so very inexpensive Amazing. To do. Well, let me show you how to use tissue paper, and it's basically the exact same way Kathy did her napkins. But as you can see right here, I just tore up some of this tissue paper into squares. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to do it because Kathy basically showed you. And right here is the end result. This is just a bunch of uh, um, squares of tissue paper that I just layered, layered, layered. It took me about two minutes to do. You don't have to be too careful about this because you want that kind of uh, layered look there. But it's what texture. I want to show, the texture, but I want to show you is this is going to be the end result. And how we did this, if you could see on the background there, we used the Mega Silver Glitter Mod Podge which is this bottle right here. Now this kind of gives it a galactic look, but then we kind of turned it into something. I always said, this one is for the man cave, right? <laughs> yeah, but what about yeah. the girl cave? Well, you can make one for the girl cave. I think you just made one. <laughs> and we went to the hardware store and we just got these random washers. So this is a good idea. You can go through the hardware store. They've got great things um, that you can put on top of any kind of light switch plate because we are gonna be using the Ultra, which seals everything on there nice and tight and things do not move. So, with the Ultra, after I finished this, I let this dry for a couple hours, and then I wanted to go right on top of it with the Mega Glitter here. And you can see how much glitter is in the Mega Glitter. It is loaded, guys. There is so much, so you wanna make sure you don't get too much on your brush, unless you, know, you want more, but you'll see. Let's get right on close there, and you can see, as I go down, it just, flakes right off that brush. Again, we always said it's kind of like uh, silver leafing. So pretty. I love how galactic it looks. Yeah. I mean, even that alone, just like that. By itself. Would look cool. Yeah. So you can just add as much or as little as you'd like right on top of that switch play. Make sure you hit the edges here all the way around. Just like so. Get some highs and lows going a little bit more over here. And there you go. You could let this dry. It's a little foggy right now because it goes on a little foggy, but dries crystal clear. So you could leave this just the way it is, or you go one step further, which I like to do, and we're going to add these washers right on top. But what I first want to do is I want to add the Ultra right on top of that. So while this is still kind of wet, you can go right on top and just give it this is so... A couple squirts. Most people don't believe us yeah. when you say that this is the glue. And let me show you. You're just going to position these 
and you're going to just drop them right on top, like so. And you're gonna work all the way around your switch plate and make your own design. Now again, you can use all sorts of bits and pieces on top of this uh, three-dimensional kind of light plate. Um, you don't have to just use washers, you can use maybe stuff that you've collected. Well, scrapbooking embellishments, there's so many little things all like that. All sorts of things. And then once you're finished with that, all you're gonna do is in real time, give it another squirt and set that aside. That's it. This will dry completely clear. And as you can see, with this light switch plate, here are the washers and they are not going to move. They are completely solid and they're not gonna fall off. Super I cool. I, I, it's, I, I know that people like, I feel like you don't believe us. The ultra <laughs> guys, say. here's the bottle it's right just here. that one spray, yeah. put your embellishment down and spray it again and it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. It's such a fun, quick way and I agree. That would look, Eddie would probably really like that. Of course. He would like that. For it's me. a man cage light switch plate. <laughs> Easy. So um, since I used the Mega Silver earlier, I want to just really quickly show you. This is the this is three coats of it, right on top of here. If you wanted to add another coat, you could just to get it completely solid. This is very simple. This was just a plain white, and you just go right on top of that plate like that, and that's just adding another layer of this silver Mega Glitter. Now this is a really fun one for all sorts of rooms. This is great for kids' yeah, rooms the also. Yeah, girls would love this. Isn't that beautiful? So that's um, how you would use the Mega Glitter. Again, what I like to do is once this dries up, guys, I like to use the Ultra right on top of that because again, it seals it. There's gonna be no flaking, anything. It's just gonna stay right on and this is good for little kids' little grubby fingers. You're well, not gonna get any prints on there. And, you know, light switch plates, I feel like you take white pieces and, and step to it, you're cleaning it constantly, so just that extra seal with the Ultra is really yes. nice. Just for durability. Absolutely. Uh, and one thing to note, Mecca Glitter comes in gold, right. silver, and hologram. Correct. And a couple of weeks ago, we did a video all about glitter. Yes. So we will drop a link in the comments to, uh, to that video, because we've got lots of different glitter formulas, and if you like this, you will Love, Love that. that video. We yeah. go through everything. Next, I want to show you how to do a just traditional paper covered light switch plate cover. <laughs> and this is done with a sheet of scrapbook paper. I loved this watercolor design. I just thought that was so pretty. So what I did was I cut it slightly larger and I didn't even measure. You just go a little bit bigger and then you want to go in and cut just snip those corners. Don't worry about it being perfect because that's all going to get layered up and flipped over. I don't know if I'm saying that properly. So just snip right into your corners, just like that, okay? Then what we're gonna do on the napkin, we applied the Mod Podge to the light switch plate. For this, we're applying the Mod Podge to the paper. So we go ahead Add a nice thick coat there. This is the gloss formula. You can use matte, you can use satin if you want. If you want to seal it for that cleaning and all that, spray it with the Ultra. You could also hit it with a little bit of dishwasher safe if you wanted to. Now I'm just going to layer this over. And this part, I kind of line it up on the back. Make sure my corners are where my corners are. Smooth that from the in center, inside out over the edges and then we're going to fold over these sides and work them in let's see let's kind of smoosh that down do that over here if you feel like your paper is drying out we have kind of hot lights here just go ahead and add a little bit more Mod Podge and fold that over and again, these light switch plate covers were under a dollar. Mm -hmm. So this is a really inexpensive way to add some pop of color yep. on an otherwise boring Actually, thing. 79 cents for those yeah, and 89 cents for the larger ones. So I'm just flipping those paper corners in and then we'll flip this over, add a little bit more of our Mod Podge gloss. To me, I think more is better on this. You're just gonna be flattening that down keeping those corners in, folding those corners in. You want to get a nice sharp edge, pushing down with your fingers. 
Let's add a little bit more right here. Oh, I almost dropped on my Mod Podge. It would have been a Mod Podge catastrophe. Mod Podge mess. Has anybody ever done that? If you've yeah. done that, please give us a smiley face. Because <laughs> I know I have. There should be a lot of smiley faces. <laughs> I think we all have. Okay, keep doing that. So now we've got our corners nice. I go in and just kind of make sure they're looking sharp. So that's, there we go, looking good. Okay, so now we're ready to show you how to do that inside part. And you're gonna take a sharp pair of scissors and go right up to that corner, right up to that corner. And right up to that corner. Now, after I do this, I'm getting Mod Podge a little bit on these scissors and I clean them with a baby wipe right away. And that will help keep them nice and clean. Add a little bit of the Mod Podge there. Then you just come in from the underside and bring that around. Again, you don't have to worry about how it looks on the backside because that's against the wall. You just want it to look nice and crisp on the front side. And that looks good. Then we'll go in and just give it a top coat. Seal that up. And you can kind of go all different directions to start and then go ahead and smooth that just like so to finish that off. And Looking good. Once it's dry, you can give it a second coat. You can hit it with the Ultra if you have Ultra on hand. But I like to give it a couple coats, again, so that you can wipe it. It's, you know, you're gonna be cleaning and all that. But that's how fast you can create a covered light switch plate. So fun for adding just a little, little, little bit of little. cuteness to your room. Yeah. What about a little bit of bling? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Delilah and Sophia were like, Mom, Check what is out. that? Check that out. That's a lot of bling on a light switch plate. So this one is really fun and really easy to make also. This could go into a lot of different rooms I could think of. And that we're gonna be using the gloss also. Now this one's a little bit different in the sense that we like to add a little bit more of the Mod Podge right on top. So let me show you how that's done. I like to start right here where your screw would go in so you don't, if you start over here and you work your way, your gem might, uh, might not match up. So I always like to start right over here and I like to put it on a little bit thicker, like so. Just gonna go around, just start this off with a few of them. Now you can either use a grease pen, which is very easy. Just go up and then you're gonna place that right there. So as you can see, I'm gonna be safe with my first stone going down. So if I would have started here and worked up my way over, it might not have matched up or gone over onto the hole. And then you're gonna just work your way all the way around your switch plate and fill it in. Now you can do this with all sorts of gems, all different colors. Um, sizes even big. Sizes, big, small, all sorts. And you're just going to add more Mod Podge. Make sure, guys, that you put this one on a little bit thicker. Again, it's going to dry completely clear. And some of you may be you're thinking, gonna work it. can we use Ultra for this? And you can. If yeah. you have Ultra, you can easily use Ultra for this project. Absolutely. Uh, if you don't have Ultra, we just want to show you that Mod Podge Gloss works really cool for this, too. And I find this very, very therapeutic. I start getting really quiet. I think it's called Diamond Painting. And I just... Start placing these all over the place. Now you can put these close together, you can separate them a little bit more, however you like. So you get the idea, so that's how it is. You're gonna work your way all the way around there and you're gonna end up with something like this. Now I don't do the edges so much, like right around here, because they tend to kind of slide and I found that they don't always fit. So just the very surface of that works really nice and super cool. And I love that this is on um, an outlet. Cover. Absolutely. So this isn't just light switch. You could do this on outlets, wherever you want to just add Did I say it. light switch? Did I say oh, light switch? Oh, I don't switch? know. Oh, I did, no. Yeah. Well, these, <laughs> all, all of these, everything that you've seen done today can be switched around. Paper yeah. can be put on here, napkins can be put on here, and vice versa. You can put gems on the, the, the smaller switch plates. So these can be all mixed and matched up. 
So we do have a fabric one that I wanna show you quickly. Um, for the fabric one, we did it the same exact way that we did the paper. Mm -hmm. The only difference, and we, we um, used one of these square, this is what my house uses. Um, we just cut our fabric a little bit bigger. Again, we did it the same way that we did the paper one, but instead of using Mod Podge gloss, we used the Mod Podge fabric formula. So it's the same technique, just a different formula to adhere that. This is really fun if you have um, some designer fabric or any kind of fabric that you have and maybe you've made some pillows or you have a bedspread and you really wanna create a super coordinated look. You could either use the exact same fabric or you could do something in the same type of print or colorway just to really create a fun look for your room. Mix and match. That's right. So Mix should we match. recap? Let's recap. All right. Okay, let's get all our finished ones up here. I first wanna show you, the first one that we made was with our napkins. So yes. this was done with a, what you call a blue china napkin and that's one layer of the napkin and the gloss mod podge i absolutely adore this look this one over here is black tissue paper with the mega silver glitter mod podge and we use some hardware pieces with the ultra such a fun look yeah and we have a all over paper one done with scrapbook paper very simple very fast to do Again, you got a favorite scrapbook paper, you got a little scrap of it, you can totally make over a light switch plate. A simple one, Mega Glitter Silver right here. It also comes in Golden Hologram, so check that out. This is a beautiful look, very simple, just three coats of that, and this is what you get. I love that. And this can also be done in gold or hologram with the Mega Glitter. Right. And we've got our fabric formula one, and this one is uh, super simple to make, the same way we did the paper one. Mm -hmm. And our gems, very easy, Mod Podge and gems. They're bling, yeah, this is our bling one. So that's simple. Yeah. <laughs> so please drop us a comment and let us know if you have ever made over light switch plate. I know I did my first one in college, so that we're not reinventing the wheel here, but we yeah. want to see what you guys have made. So make sure you tag Plaid Crafts and Mod Podge. And thanks for joining us. And please today. share the video. Yes, yes, give us a share, and we will see you next Thursday yes. with a new Mod Podge adventure. Ooh, good. Okay. See you guys. <laughs>